But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Please invite your friends and today we are going to have some halal fun again. Before we start with our topic, we are going to answer some Abdul immediately. You will notice that uh, the Muslims, you know, because the Muhammadan, the black stone kissers, the Muta God worshippers, they come to us always with silly questions and they repeat the same thing, which is even against what their stupid Quran says. As an example, this is an idiot. His name, it's me. And for sure it is you. I mean, who is going to be? You know? CP worship three gods. So you just said that your stupid prophet and your stupid Quran is a liar. Because the Quran says the Christian, they worship one God. And the Quran confirmed the Trinity as one God. So you are a stupid fabricator, liar, like your prophet. If we go right now to the Quran, we will see the following. And then every son of Muta. Shut up when you talk to me, you listen, and we will school you. Is this is your stupid Quran or I'm making things up? Hmm? Is it? Your stupid Quran say that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. So if we believe in the Trinity as a three God, as you said, so why your stupid Quran says no? The Christian believe in one God, and that one God is the Messiah. And they think he is Allah. And by the way, your stupid God is wrong. Because even if Muhammad, he meant that we, we say that he is the father, we Christian, we don't believe that the Messiah is the father. So when you have a prophet, he is a son of Muta who was born four years after his father's death, and nobody knows who is his father. And you try to come with something, at least come with something fit with your Quran. And even the verse which says, don't say Trinity, even that verse says that the Trinity mean one God. So why Muslims they lie? Well, they are Muslims, Muhammad, and what you can expect. Now we go to the second Abdul. And by the way, I will open my Skype if there is any Abdul would like to join us. Open challenge, you know, don't be a coward, be a man. I mean, why Why you say, why you make a comment says, Christian Prince run away from my question. Christian Prince is not answering me. Christian, okay, just call me. And then everybody will say life, your uh, question, your answers, my questions, my answers, you know, and uh, let us see how good you are. But you are a potato, you know, you are no match, and that's why you fear it. Uh, we have Abdullah here. Uh, he is saying, uh, this, this is the guy who keeps saying, he keeps calling me. Guys, this is a son of Muta. He keeps saying, I call you. He posts comment. I call you. You never answer. You see, today is the first day ever you text me, you coward. And the first day ever, huh? You did, you, you exposed yourself. Do you see how stupid you are? So in the chat, he keep in the, in the, in the comment section, he keeps saying, Christian Prince, I keep calling you. You never answer. I keep calling you. You never answer. Let me show people in the screen. How you just get yourself busted? Hmm. 
When the first time he ever called me? Today, 2.29 a.m. Before that, never. And you stupid coward. Are you calling me in a time where I'm not going to be online anyway? I mean, how in the world come to your mind that a person who live in USA is going to answer your call at 2.41 a.m.? Obviously, you don't want to call and let us do it. I'm going to call you right now. <laughs> He's online. Otherwise, the sky will not ring. Let us see what he will do. He will not answer. Let me lower the sound of the bell so it doesn't bother you. He will never answer. Is unavailable. In fact, it says it declined. Look at the son of Muta. If you go in the comment section, he keeps saying, he's running away from me. I keep calling him. Do you see, guys, it says declined? Do you see it says declined? Do you see how coward they are? Not only is like, you know, maybe he did not answer, maybe he is not next to his phone. It declined, which means he clicked to deny. And the coward he posts. This is why I, I, you know, I, I'm going to block you. You are just a kid. I have no time for stupidity. Get lost, son of Muta. I'm going to convert to Islam one day and get all your wives to be in my bed. Uh, if there is any Muslim, he have the courage and he have the knowledge. Please feel free. Now let we go to the second Abdul. Another Abdul. He is a smart Abdul. And this guy is the same. We ask him, why, why you don't call me? He repeat the same thing. Look what he did. This is Zachariah. And we told him to change his name because Zachariah belonged to Yahweh, which is a proving that the God of Islam is a liar. Why? Because if Yahya and Yahweh, both they belong to Yahweh, hmm? Yahya and Zachariah, both of them, they belong to, Yah to, to Yahweh, and then the God of Islam never mentioned such a name. So why Zechariah, his name is Zechariah, and why Yahya, his name is Yahya? So look what he said. I asked CP four questions. This is remind me of the video of the Muslim Abdul, if you remember, when the, the Jews, they came to Muhammad and they asked him four questions. <laughs> and he did not answer anything. Why in the Bible, in Genesis 3, 14, says the women will have pain and will give birth because of Eve? Well, you see, look like your mother, when she gave birth to you, she did shit you out and she have no pain at all because you are like a diarrhea. Isn't it every single woman in the world, when she gave birth, she have a pain? So are you saying to me that this is, was not the plan of Allah, it was an accident? So here you see the stupidity of the Muhammadan. When they make a comment, their, their comment is the same as a diarrhea. If we ask him, did your mother, when she gave birth to you, did she shit you out as shit as diarrhea? It was so easy huh? because you were a liquid or she have a pain. He will say, no, I wasn't sit, uh, sit uh, Okay, I was, uh, you know, she have pain. Okay, so why Allah, he made her have pain? So when you ask a question, you stupid son of Muta, you are denying that Allah, your God, he is the one who designed everything in a certain way. So now we ask you the same question. Why your mother, she have a pain when she gave birth to you? I will tell you why. Because you are a pain in the ass. As simple as that. If you go in the chapter, what he is quoting, and by the way, he asked me too, where, where, when I said uh, uh, that Adam, he had punishment too, this is a penalty for both, it's not for one. He said, where, 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 it says that, where, where, you know, you stupid, you donkey. If you read the same chapter, you will see 
that God he spoke to Adam and he spoke to Eve so how come you are quoting for us verse number 14 by the way, this is not 14, you idiot. You, you, are, you don't even know, need to have, have, I think he's quoting from a website, maybe, mostly. Because what 14? Uh, 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 this is about the snake, not about uh, the verse number 14, the idiot. This is about the snake, potato. And about the snake, we showed you that your own Islamic books, it says that the snake used to have feet and legs like a camel, and then Allah, he cursed her because she allowed shaitan to go inside her mouth and go inside the heaven. So according to your stupid religion, snake, she smuggled shaitan inside the border. And this is stupidity of Muhammad trying to explain how in the world that Allah, he kicked out shaitan before, before it, oh, everything happened. Allah, he kicks shaitan out of, out of heaven. He says to him, get out of it. Let's go to the verse. And this is when shaitan, he refused to bow down to Adam. And this is telling us that Islam is a pagan cult. Because why in the world you order angels and shaitan? And by the way, he did not order shaitan. He ordered the angels. And in case you do not know, shaitan is not an angel in Islam. You know, he's not a foreign angel like in Christianity. This is why some, some Christian, they they think if Muhammad, he used the same words, we have the same terms and the same conditions. No, this is a false cult religion. It's totally pure pagan. And Muhammad, he used certain names just to fool you. Uh, so Allah, he said to, uh, to Shaitan, get out of it. Get out of it. What shaitan he did? Uh, this is will be our wallet to see here. <clears throat> Muhammad is the same as a person he's writing a story, and the story is not made by him, have nothing to do with him. He is copying somebody else. And because he is, uh, you know, uh, an idiot, he come with his own words. So look what the Quran says here to Muhammad, like a shaitan. I mean, here it's funny that Muhammad is speaking against shaitan when he is a shaitan himself. And Allah said to Iblis, get out from this. Between two bracket paradise, do you see it? The Muslims, in order to fix it, they say, no, no, he's not asking him to get out of paradise. He, he was renting a, a room in Airbnb. <laughs> So after Allah, he punished shaitan and he told him, get out. Then he said to Adam, you and your wife, you live in heaven. You, yo-yo, Muhammad the yo-yo. His story is like a yo-yo, you know? <laughs> you and your wife, you stay in heaven. Hey, Muslims, where, where, where Adam was when Allah created him then? I mean, he's just saying to him, now you enter heaven, now. So where he was? Any Muslim can help us? Any Abdul Teras? Remember this heaven is in the sky. In Christianity, the garden of Adam and Eve, it was on earth, eh? already in, they are on earth. So here you see another side of the stupid story, how you created them in heaven. And you are now asking them to enter heaven I mean, who is the donkey here? The answer is Allah. So Allah now, he decided to say to Adam and his wife, go into paradise. But before he says to Adam and wife, get into paradise, he says to, uh, to Allah, to a shaitan, get out of it and you are disgraced and expelled. Okay. And here you see another stupid statement in the verse. He says, whoever of them, mankind will follow you. What mankind? There's only one guy. His name is Adam. And actually, in the, at that moment, uh, uh, I mean, this is the first man, and even uh, Eve is not exist. 
And then, O oh Adam, there will you and your wife in paradise and eat from etc. And then suddenly we see the shaitan get in and then we, we go and see the Muslim interpretation. And we find that in the Muslim interpretation, which we showed yesterday, it says that shaitan, he come to a snake and he uh, uh, convinced the snake uh, to, uh, 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 to let him get inside her. And so he can get inside the heaven. Looked like the snake was allowed to go and get out and in. And only Adam, he was you know, restrained in the heaven. So the snake, which is in heaven, in the sky, imagine. I mean, the, the snake in the, in the sky, what the snake is doing there in the house of Allah. All this garbage religion is messed up. You see, if this heaven was in earth, I will say, okay, there is a snake. But this heaven is in heaven. So, Shaitan, he, uh, he whisper into them, you know, he like, you know, and what is that? What he said to them, I will make you live forever. I will make you powerful. I will make you just eat from the tree. Okay. And then he, this guy is saying, why Eve, she have to give birth with pain, right? This is the question here, you know, and we are repeating now. When we showed him what Ibn Abbas said and what his own Islamic tafsir said, the guy he said to me from yesterday, if you remember, I challenge you to show me that this is an authentic hadith. <clears throat> Correct? Well, I challenge you to find me one authentic hadith in Islam. In fact, all of Islam is not authentic and this is what we are doing here. So when a Muslim, he challenged a Christian to prove that the story about Adam and Eve in his books, in his official Islamic website, this is the official Islamic website of Saudi Arabia government. And when you say to me, I challenge you to prove it, to prove what? To prove that this hadith is authentic. That is a clear sign that Islam cannot be trustworthy and the Muslim, they admitted that Islam is full of lies because they are just saying, we are a bunch of liars. And this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, who Muhammad, he hired him to explain the Quran. This is not a Jewish guy. This is not a Hindu. This is not a Christian prince. This is Ibn Abbas. And we translated the same verses yesterday or the same statement. And where Ibn Abbas, he get his knowledge from? From the Prophet of Allah, which is the Prophet of the devil. If we click translate, let us change the language. We go to English. And now what the, what the answer will be from those Muslims? I challenge you to prove that it is true, authentic. My friend, I am here to prove that nothing is authentic in Islam. Thank you very much for confirming that. Saeed ibn Jubair said, from the authority, do you see the word authority? So if this guy, he has no authority, so why you Muslim ones, Muhammadan, Blackstone, Kisar, Kisar Nan, I'm speaking Indonesian now, Kisar Nan, you are saying the authority of the Abbas, if he has no authority, so the guy, he got authority when he had no authority. When Adam ate from the tree and it was forbidden, Allah Almighty, uh, he said to him, why, what made you do that? He said, oh Lord, it's Eve, you know, Eve, she have uh, nice boobs. You know, she start moving her boobs and she convert, con convinced me. She put the apple between her two boobs and then I was confused, which one is the apple? I wanted to bite it. And oops, like it was the apple, I thought it's a boobs, you know. So look what Allah said here to Adam. So, sorry, to Eve, because you did this, you know, you are going to, you know, get a bread net with pain. The translation is not really correct. And you will give it that birth to that your baby with pain against your will. And you will be having menstruation twice a month. And this is again showing the stupidity of the one who made this religion. Since when women, they have twice menstruation hmm? 
So here you see that this was a penalty from the stupid God, the stupid Allah. Then the Abdul, he says to us, why well, you're God? In, uh, in, you know, in, uh, he said, you know, that's not right. Women, what the right, what the, what's wrong with the rest of the women? It's only one woman. She is the one who did that. Well, we ask you the same question. It was only one man who did what he did. So why he's out of heaven and we are out of heaven? What's wrong? And here we need to remember, many uh, Christians do not understand that the reasoning is different for the story. You see, when Adam commits sin, according to Christianity and Judaism, he did something against God's will. In Islam, Adam, he have no choice because the Mohammedan, they believe in destiny. And Adam was forced to commit sin. And we showed you this hadith a thousand times before, but we can show it again and again. Doesn't matter, doesn't make any difference. And here we understand that in Christianity, Adam is the one who commits sin. In Islam, the one who commits the sin is Allah. And then you ask yourself, how stupid this religion is, if the one who commit the sin is Allah, so why Adam is being punished for sin he did not do? This is a debate, and this is very authentic. So if this guy, he said this is not authentic, it's in front of you. It says that Adam and Moses, they have an argument, and, you know, a debate. Adam, he says to Moses, uh, Moses says to Adam, because of you, we turned us out in a miserable way, out of paradise. So Musa is obviously, he is ad adopting the belief of the Christian. And this is a clear proof that when the Muslim, they say that Musa was a Muslim, it's a big fat lie. Because how this guy, he spent his life as a prophet, yet he do not know a simple basic belief in the cult of Muhammad, the black stone kisser, which is the vagina of Allah. How this guy, his name is Moshe. So they stole the name, they stole Adam name. They stole Moshe name, they stole uh, 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 Mary name, they stole uh, Aaron name, they stole Abraham names, and they added to their pagan cult and they mix it all together. And now we have a complete creature. He was born very early and he is dead. So here it says that Adam says to, uh, to, uh, to Moses, how you can blame me for the sin which I did, which I have to do, I must commit, which is written 40 years before my creation. How you can blame me for that? Are you stupid or what? And you will see that the silly Muhammad, the half a brain Muhammad, admitting and agreeing that, yes, well, you know what? Adam, he got the point. It was destiny. It's not his fault. And then you ask yourself all the story then about Adam when was kicked out from heaven. What for? What this drama is about, if we go to the Quran, the Quran, and here we, you know, we, uh, we, we show this Abdul. It says here that Allah, he cursed. He cursed who? He cursed Adam and Eve, and he kicked them out of heaven. Why? Because they commit sin. But the funny is that before, you know, that Allah, he forgave them. But yet he kicked them out. This is how stupid this religion is. And then he says, get down one of you and enemy to each other. Which one? Shaitan, which is the snake. So you stupid, you donkey, you, you trying to copy a story from the Bible. You deny the snake, but the snake is there. How Shaitan enter into heaven? According to your religion, he enter into a snake. What he said to the snake, which Shaitan now, get down both of you you will be enemy to each other forever forever hmm? both of you so this was a curse and he asked why the snake i mean what the snake did you are stupid again you do not know your religion this is the problem with those with those with those people uh, now after Allah, uh, he kicked Adam and Eve from heaven. The Muslim is asking question here, and his question based in, uh, well, what is the fault of the rest of the women? Right? 
to have pain when they give birth? Well, if you are saying why, and this is not right, then you should give a screwdriver to your God, Allah, because your mother, she have pain when she give birth. So if you are saying to me that this was a blessing from, uh, from your God to your mother, that's mean you are a fool. That's mean literally you are a fool because nobody enjoy pain. And not only pain, women, they can even die in such a uh, uh, like delivery, not just pain. So here you see the hypocrisy of this religion. They are talking as if they are women, they don't have pain when they give delivery. And we just showed him that he, she, her, her birth will be in pain, her menstruation will be in pain, and her even having a baby, like from a man, sleeping with the man is going to be painful. And this is speaking of when the man, he have first time intercourse with the women. This is your God, you stupid. And this is why you don't dare to call me. Then when you speak about man and you say, well, God did not punish man, you know, you are a liar like your prophet again. The same chapter you are quoting for us, how come you, how come Muslims always, they see a verse in a chapter, they don't see the verse before it or the verse after it. It's a miracle. This is the skip cult. The skip anything is an embarrassment to their questions. I cannot believe how stupid this cult is. So he went, and he's quoting the wrong number again. He went and he says, okay, why God he did to the woman? And he claimed that nowhere God, he punished Adam. Did you read the verse after it? Hey Muslim, do we have a one Muslim have a dignity? How come you can see a verse, but you cannot see the verse? What exactly your religion is? You see the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. If Islam is a religion of ethic and truth, then Muslims will be truthful. This is the same chapter, you coward, you denied that Adam was punished. It's in the front of you. Just jump, you know, one verse. Just one verse, you stupid. And God, he said unto Adam, because though you did, you know, like you broke my command, because you did what you did, you are going to be cursed. The earth you walk in it is cursed. And you will live in sorrow. And your life will be a life of pain. It's in front of you. He said, nowhere it says that he punished him. He punished them both. And here we ask you, what do you want God to do to Adam? Make him have give birth from his anus so he will have pain too? You can request that. By the way, there's a hadith about a guy. He entered the miswak in his anus to make fun of the miswak. What Allah he did to him? Anyone remember? <laughs> Let me try to find the hadith. In English, maybe we can find it. So this guy, he, he inserted the miswak. He's a Muslim, but he don't like the miswak stuff. So he made fun of it. So Allah, he made him a brother. 
and after nine months, he delivered a rat. Was that a blessing from your God, Allah? Or it was a curse, supposedly? So which one is more thin for Allah? Adam and Eve breaking his command or somebody putting a miswak in his anus. And then Allah, he have him pain and he delivery from his anus and then the guy, he die. Let us see. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm just trying to find like a legitimate website because I mean we show them their official website and they still they say we don't believe in that it doesn't say that CP this is Ibn Kathir uh, I could not open the website it says uh, connection let us see all right Let us see a different website. This one will do. Let us see this one. All right. Islamweb.net. Oh, Christian Prince, this website is a bad website. It's run by the Jews. Actually, the one who own it is the Prime Minister of India. His name is Moody. And this Moody, he changed his mood like Muhammad and the Muhammad. And when they want the website is good, when they want the website is bad. And this is the book of Ibn Kathir. And this is the book of Al-Bidayah wa Nihaya. And this is the chapter seven, volume number 17. And this is page number 469. Let me see, it doesn't say that, CP. Let us see. Hmm. <laughs> True story, brother. True story. True story. Hmm? So the guy, he put the miswak in his anus and then he took it off. And then he stayed for that after that nine months. Page number 471. And then he gave birth to children have four legs and they look like a rat. And the head have a head of a fish and his anus is the anus of a rabbit. Are you with me, Abdul? Now we will use Prophet Google Translation. But let us first give you the link because they will say it doesn't say that, CP. You know them. You know the thing. It doesn't say that, CP. Come on, just, just face it. It doesn't say that. True story, true story, you know. This is the link. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. And now we have to open it. <coughs> in Google uh, browser and we have to use Google translation so for inserting a miswak in your anus <coughs> sorry uh, all of those drama happen what will happen if this guy he ate from the tree of Allah and you know guess what I mean, not only he did. Uh, we, we open it here. This is the this is the website. In Google Translation. And I'm going to use uh, for you. I post a link for you. Look for where it says number twenty two. You see number twenty two in the page, and then you count one line, and then here, you know, where it says next to page number four seventy one. All right. I'll read the rest. Let us use Google Translation. Because maybe Christian Prince is lying, brother. He is lying. It doesn't say that, CP. You know? All right. So here it says, he took the miswak and he put it in his buttocks. The translation is not coming correct. And then after nine months, Later, he gave birth to a son. The translation again is not 
correct? He have description of a rat. He looked like a rat. With four legs and his head like the head of a fish. And his back was like the back. This is false translation. It was his anus. His anus is the same anus as a, as a rabbit. And then this man, he did live for two days after that, and he died in the third. This is your books. And now what he will say? It doesn't say that, CP. I challenge you to prove that this is authentic story. Our friend, nothing is authentic in Islam. We are here to laugh at your prophet. You remember that. So when you say it's not authentic, you are just making, giving us a bigger laugh because you confirm what we are doing. It's true. Nothing in Islam is authentic. This is a big fat lie, the same as the fat lie in the ass of Muhammad. I mean, the guy, he insert a miswak in his anus and then he get a bread net. Since, do you see, do you think that the, the anus, I mean, do you think the miswak have a sperm brother? You know what looked like the miswak is a penis. Is that a miracle brother? Huh? So the guy, he insert a piece of wood in his anus and then the miswak, he have ejaculation. He could not resist the temptation. And then the guy, he have womb. I mean, the guy is a man and the location is his anus, not his vagina. That your God, he made him have a baby and the baby looked like a rat. And what is killing me? Why his head like a fish? And why his anus like a rabbit? Is that a specific thing about rabbit anus? Let me search for rabbit anus. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. I want to see what is like. It must be something special in the rabbit in anus. But now how we can find the rabbit showing his anus. I mean, it's not. there's no porn website for rabbits. Otherwise, we will go there for the sake of education. Rabbit. I will search for a rabbit, and now we have to get lucky and see a rabbit showing his ass. How in the world I will find such a rabbit now? I'm looking. I mean, there's tons of pictures, but I don't see anyone showing his his his, his ass. All of the pictures is kind of for his head, for his face. Hey, come on, not even one of you rabbits. Shame on you. They must be very conservative, those rabbits. I'm, I'm telling you, I cannot find one rabbit showing his ass. I mean, I, I don't know, but I don't know what to do. I give up, I give up. You know, I'm looking at all the rabbits here, you know. Not even one of them is showing his... Uh, how, how, what, how we can solve this problem now? Rabbit anus? What would that mean? Why, why Allah, he chose rabbit uh, anus for his anus? You see, Allah, he replaced the body part of a human being, and suddenly now, his head is a head of a fish. Let us see, uh, uh, we can find the head of the fish. Hold on. I mean, this is easier. So Allah, he made him have a child. I mean, what is the, the fault of the child? Aren't you the one who speak about like, okay, the father, he did something wrong. Why the child, he have a head of a fish? Don't you think this is a fishy story? Very fishy. Brothers and sisters, this is the head of the baby, the guy he gave. He looked like a rat. How he looked like a rat and he have a head of a fish. No comment. No comment. Okay, let us continue with the with the madness of the Abdul, who they are going in denial. I hope you guys you did save the reference. We gave you about the anus story, which is a true story, by the way. And may Allah protect the anus of every Muslim. Please don't make fun of the Quran or the Miswak, otherwise your anus at risk. Don't forget to put insurance in your anus. And by the way, commercial break. If you would like to have insurance over your anus and you are a Muslim, please call anus.com insurance. 
you we will cover all your anus expenses in case you need to do plastic surgery for Allah he changed the look of your anus to make it like a rabbit we can send you to Thailand and they are the best in changing your anus to anything you want you can make it even a grocery store you can make it even a tree in fact we can make it look like a cake it is a piece of cake signed with our insurance and you will get the best deal call now one Allah anus now here it says the guy respond by showing Bagawi and I ask him a simple question. What the evidence of he have authentic? The Joker respond by saying, this is a Muslim book. So it is authentic. No, I did not say that. I said, this is a Muslim book. So you are the one who should prove it is authentic, you stupid. Because why you put it in your book and this is your biggest scholar if it is not authentic? I mean, the video is still there. I did laugh at you and I said, look at this guy. He is asking a Christian to prove that what is written in his book is authentic. <laughs> Isn't it, this is hilarious. I mean, we show them what is in their books and those are the highest scholars. al Baghawi is a top, top, top notch. Not like those potatoes in YouTube. What he do? He says, uh, it's your book. Yeah, it's your book. And this is your official government website. And this is exist in many tafsir. So how that is my problem, if it is not authentic, mean we need to question how legitimate Islam is. Because if you must then believe, that you lie about your prophet and you explain the Quran by lying about your prophet, that means you are a bunch of liars and nobody can trust Muslims, neither Islam. This is your sheikh from Saudi Arabia. Now he will say to me, hey, this guy is a stupid. He do not know what he's talking about. So he is in the Qatari official TV. Do you see the sign? Guys, do you see the sign in the corner? This is the official TV of Qatar. You can go check it out. Government. Do you see it? And the name of the program, those who are very established with knowledge, those are the scholars. So this program for the scholars. So they are asking him about Adam and Eve and what happened. And I will translate. So they say that Allah, he punished the snake by taking off her legs as we showed you in the interpretation it says that the snake she used to have legs of a camel and then allah he punished her by taking off her legs so she's she go down in her belly and because she allowed the shaitan to go inside her continue and eve hawa from the appearance according to the sunnah she is the one who advised Adam, our father Adam, to eat. So Allah, he punished her by making her having period. And now he will say, it doesn't say that, CP. So all your scholars say what is written in the website except you because you are a potato in YouTube and you can say whatever you want. Now we go to the front thing. He says, he said Jeremiah 20 was a guy who thought that he was powerful and God showed him that he is nothing. Anyone who read Jeremiah would be die laughing at him. Uh, it's, and he says, he, you know, he ran away. Now, but let's stop here. And then he skipped uh, Ezekiel 14. You stupid. You gave me a, a Jeremiah. I read Ezekiel. If we go right now to Jeremiah, everybody will laugh at you. Jeremiah was complaining that he could not do it alone. He thought if he screamed, if he thought he thought if he warned them, he thought if he can uh, you know uh, speak loud against their action, they will listen. And if you go actually to Jeremiah and you read all the way to the end, he is even wondering why even he is exist. He believe that the day he came to existence, it was a very bad day. Because he is suffering from failure. His people, they start worshiping idols. <clears throat> 
and he could not you know, prevent them from doing that. So if we go to Jeremiah right now, and we'll do it in front of everybody, and then he will come and he will pose the same thing. The Muslims, you know, and by the way, the same question, they will ask it a million times in the coming million year, and they will never stop. Even you answer them, doesn't matter how many times. Because they're Muhammad, and what do you expect? You know, the one who Allah, he made the anus as a rabbit anus. What do you expect from such a religion? And they speak about logic. Uh, so if we go to Jeremiah, Chapter 20. The first question you ask yourself, when the Muhammadan, he did read Jeremiah, verse number 7, how come he did not see all the chapter? Did he see it really, or he is <clears throat> in purpose he will not see? Jeremiah is struggling that his people are not listening. The king of the Babylon is coming and advancing and people are not listening. He keep warning, they don't listen. And then he is saying, I thought I can do it alone. Lord has deceived me. And I was deceived. I thought I am stronger. But you are stronger than I. So this is what all the verse is saying. I thought I am strong. But you are stronger than I. So what the verse is saying. I am doing my work as a man. And now I realized that my work as a man will not be good enough if my work as a man not the strength of God. And this is, can be found in the book of Psalm 127, where the builders, they are building, but for nothing. You build, you build the palace, you build the castle, you build a wall to protect your city, but that will not help you because you are not building by the command of God. You are not successful by God's success. So if we go to, to the book of Psalm, let me open it. Give me a second. Except the Lord build the house, the labor is in vain. They build it, except the Lord, keep the city, the watchman, the one who is God, the watchman, the guard, the soldiers, their watch is in vain if you don't have God protection. In vain for you to rise up early. So all that, it's a very uh, short, short uh, uh, chapter here. All what it says that anything if those people are not working by God's will, then nothing will be succeed. It's not like you, you know, you warn them or not warn them. They don't listen to God. They don't, they don't want God. And because they don't want God, even Jeremiah, he is wishing that he never exists if you go down. You will see that he is praising the Lord, and he is saying, Cursed be the man who brought tide into my father, saying, I am a man, a child born unto thee. So supposedly it's been good news, I'm born, you know, here we go, my father should be glad, glad, glad. But the fact I am really unhappy, I'm really desperate, I'm really unsuccessful because my people are not listening. So you coward, you try to manipulate things. And look here, the deception we are talking about here, it is the man saying, you deceive me. And the man saying what he meant, that I thought I am strong, but you are stronger than I. So he's asking God for help. And if you flip the page, you will find that what God, he said to him after that. The holy chapter is about Jeremiah crying out, feeling sorry for his existence. He wished that he never exist.
he's wondering, is he a child of shame? Why those things happening to me? That's all. But the Muhammadan, who they are trying to cover, that Allah, he deceive believers. This is not about deceiving believers. This is about a guy. He is speaking to the Lord, saying, I am being deceived. I thought I can build by myself. I can be the watcher by myself. I can be the voice for them as a prophet by myself. I can do, I can do, but you are stronger than me, Lord. So he's begging the Lord for help. That's the, the whole chapter is saying. But because you are a coward like your prophet, nothing in you. Then he says, He ran away from the Amalekite extermination. First Samuel 15. Son of Muta, what if I show you this story in your Quran? What you will do now? You will say it's a week? <laughs> you see those donkeys, they are copying from Didat. Didat is a donkey who do not know what is in the Quran. This is why he made fun of the Bible. God created the sun in the fourth day. Uh, uh, you know, uh, he made fun of, of Israel fighting with the, uh, struggling with God. So he said, what the heck is that? But this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying his name is Israel. The second you accept the name, that means you accepted the story. Uh, Let us see the story here. Again, this guy, he did not know that the story of Samuel is in his Quran. Obviously, those people, they never read their book. They are just the same as the Quran says, like a donkey carrying the books in the top of his back. Uh, so if we go in the Quran, let us see. Uh, <clears throat> if we go here, actually, the story of Talut. Potatoes didn't know what their book is about. I never saw a Muslim, actually, he knows what he's talking about. This is a chapter two in the Quran. Do you see the name Abdul? Do you see the name? The Muhammadan, they think that this story never exists in their book. So they start making fun of it. Call me, call me, potato. Let me let me block you from the chat so you can call me. You are a son of Muta. You said, read carefully, this is your comment. Don't change your comment now. Here we go, we got you busted. Now you feel the heat, don't you? This guy called me liar. I said, here we go, it says, he ran away from the Amalekite extermination in Samuel 1.15. So this is was your comment, son of Muta. Now I am showing you that your God Allah, he ordered some Samuel to kill every single one of them. So now what you will do, you will change your statement. Too bad. You see, last time you made a comment, I look for it, you delete it. Yesterday I tried to find the comment, it's gone. Now I took a screenshot for that purpose because I know the second I start talking, you will, you know, you will notice that you are stupid and you will go and you delete your comment. And this is why I took a screenshot of your silly comment. So, according to you, the story in First Samuel is an ugly, disgusting story. Now, so if the story is exist in the Quran and in the Hadith, that means you are a fraud like your prophet and you just made fun of your God Allah. 
I see I mean, somebody trying to call me. Let us see who. Ah, somebody saying he can bust me. Usually the one who says that, those are kids, you know. Hmm. Let us see. Hmm. Potato, he called me so I can bust you and he declined the call. Do you see? Hey Zachariah, be a man once in your lifetime. Otherwise, somebody will put muswak in your anus and then you will give birth to a rat. Face the truth, brother. It's coming. Today and always here, you are like a rat because you don't dare to call me. The same as all Muslims who call themselves a cleric or those who have a channels. They don't dare to call me and they will not dare to give me their Skype to call them. So look what happened now. What we will do. It turned to be that it is Allah who order some will to kill those people. And if you go in the verse, actually, you will see that they did not. And this is in total agreement, not only in this story here in the Quran about Samuel, the same total agreement about the story when Allah, he ordered the Jews to kill all the Palestinians. Allah, he ordered the Jews to kill every single Palestinian in order to take the land. Quran chapter 5 verse number 21. Open the interpretation of your choice and you will die laughing. So he said to them, go there, fight them, and never, never turn back, which means kill them all. And then the Palestinian, sorry, the, 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 the Jews, they said to Moses, oh, those people are strong. We will not go and fight them. We will not. You go, you go, you go. Then two men, and the Muslim, they add in names, is not in the Quran, Joshua and Caleb, they said to Moses, let us assault them. Let us do jihad. The rest they refuse. And because the people of Moses, they refuse to go and fight, Allah, he punished them and he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert. So Muhammad, he stole a story from the Old Testament. He had his own spice as usual. He fabricate as he wish. And we know what happened next. We are laughing at his story. Because Muhammad obviously and his God do not know that after some time, those who so-called Palestinian, which is not the same people, by the way, they will become Muslims. They literally will become Muslims. So who is the one who promised the land? And who is the one who made the order to kill every single Palestinian? It was Allah. Now we go back to the other verse. Here the story is coming in a very weird way. You know, and uh, when the Muslim they tried to fix uh, a story, uh, you know, look, they, they added names. It's not in the Quran. And this is telling you that the Quran is a stupid book. Okay, how in the world now a Muslim, he is reading this story here, in the chapter of the cow, of the, as if the Jews are, there are a bunch of uh, people who worship uh, cows. Uh, and by the way, this is not the reason the cow is called cow. Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he told Moses to make a, a beef, you know, he killed a cow and, uh, and beat a guy who's dead. So the cow will come, the, the person will come back to life and will tell the story. But look what the Muslim they do in order to fix the stupidity of the Quran. The Muslim, they say that the Quran is enough by itself to tell the story, any story. So why we are adding some of it's not there. The answer will be, well, it's about Samuel. Okay, the question is, why the stupid Allah, Aka Muhammad, did not put the name 
I will tell you why. Because Muhammad do not know how to pronounce the name, how to say the name. The name is very hard for him. So he skipped the name. It's like you, you know, you say to Christian Prince, say the word abundant. The Christian Prince, abundant, what is that? So I skip it. I will skip it from reading it because it's an embarrassment. I do not know how to read it. Otherwise, I challenge the Muslims why he is mentioning the name Moses, but he don't mention the name Samuel. I mean, here we go. He is he's saying names. Any Muhammadan? No, Muhammad. They have no answer. It's a counterfeit religion. And now if we go and read the interpretation for this chapter, what the Muslim will say? It doesn't say that, CP. We don't accept that, CP. So what do you Muslims accept? Where we can find your religion? When the Quran says that those people they said, tell your God to send us an angel to fight. Fight who? And who is the one who is ordering to fight and kill? And kill who? It was the people you are talking about. And to kill them all and take the land. So in chapter 5, verse number 21, it says, Go and kill every single one of them and never come back. In chapter 2, verse number 244, Actually, if you can, you can go back, you will see. Uh, uh, Allah is saying to them, don't you see what happened to those people? And then he is quoting the story. Those people, they've been kicked out from their houses. The enemy, they took their children. To the point there is only one woman... She is descendant from the prophet. She have a child, and that is Samuel. The Jews, they did hide her so she can give birth. Any Muslim, he have an objection. Any Muslim, he had an objection. Objection is open. Objection opportunity. I can open any interpretation you wish, and then you will die laughing at your stupidity. All those names, we cannot find them in the Quran, but the names are coming one after one. Here it says that Al-Amalika, and those are the ones you are talking about, they've been victorious over the children of Israel, and they killed a lot of them, and from their land, and they took a lot of their women, and their children, and they took their children as slaves, and they have 40 kings. And they made them pay jizya. And they took their Torah. And the Israeli, they found from them all kind of painful life. 
And because they don't have a prophet to lead them, there was only one woman. She is going to give birth soon. So they took her and they put her in the house of a nun. And here you see the stupidity of Muhammad. There was a nun in the Jewish time. They put her in the house of a nun. May Allah nun you. And when she gave birth, you know, they will exchange the baby just to hide the baby. And then this woman, she was praying to, uh, to Allah to give her a boy. And then she gave birth to a boy. His name is Ishmael. And then the rest of the story that uh, you know Allah told him to go and do jihad and fight them and kill them. And then they said to him, well, why you don't ask your God to send us an angel to fight for his sake? So, I mean, why us, you know? And then he says, Kutiba alaykum al-qital. Fighting and doing jihad is a destiny. Why you don't fight? And they said, why we would do so? Where this story came from? We go to the Old Testament, we will find that Muhammad is trying his best to copy a story in the Old Testament. And now we knew what happened to those people. The most important is that now you got busted. Those people, they've been, their wives been taken, they raped their women, they took their children, they took their Torah, and they took their land. And Allah told them to go and kill them. In verse 246, when Allah, he said to them, go and do jihad and kill them. What they said, why you don't appoint, why Allah don't appoint, uh, you know, here it says a king, American as a king. Why Allah don't appoint a king to fight? We will fight for Allah. So if Allah, he appoint a king, they claim now that the, the problem is we don't have a king. And Allah said to them, why you refrain from fighting as fighting was an obligation for you? For what purpose? For those who kick you out from your homes and they took your children and your family taken as captive. So when a stupid son of Muta, he says, why you don't answer about the, you know, the, the, uh, the killing of the Amalekite and you know, you know, he will go to Quran. Those people, they are defending themselves. If we ask the Muslims, why why Muhammad was fighting the Jews? They say, oh, we are defending ourselves. Okay, what you did? We take their children and we take their wives. And then Muhammad, isn't it Muhammad who says, if I've been victorious, I will cleanse the Arabian Peninsula from Christians and Jews? And until now, there is zero citizen in Saudi Arabia. He is a Christian or a Jew. It's not allowed. What happened to them? They killed them all. So when Muhammad and he made a claim, we laugh at his claim because he is screwing his God. This is new religion. And this is your Quran. You see, you might say that the interpretation, I don't like it, I don't accept it, which is more laughable anyway, because what you Muslims accept then? If your own books is not accepted, so what you accept? What the Muslim accept? Nothing. Muslims accept only things will make them look uh, good today. Those things was fine for the last 1400 years. And the Muslim, they don't like anything in the Bible. So they start throwing rocks, but they don't know that their prophet is a fraud. He copied tons of stories. So you better watch your step, Abdul. You step at your prophet now. This is exactly what you just did. You did a step on your prophet's face and your God tail. 
when you ask this question. And this is, here we go, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And you can open Ibn Kathir, you can open a tabari you can open, open whatever you want. Now, the title today of our video is what? The title of our video is about women or half a brain. How Muslims, you know, if we ask Muslims, okay, when Muhammad, he said that the majority of mankind are women. Was that, you see, when the Muslim, he questioned why women, they will have pain when they give birth. Which one is more important? That God, he cursed the women that most of them, they will go to hell or giving birth. Muhammad, he came to the women and he said that he went, when he went up to heaven, he saw that the majority of the dwellers of hell are women. The majority of what? People of, of hellfire are females. Muslims, is that a blessing from Allah? Or it is a curse from Allah? You will see with me that according to Muhammad, the reason they will go to hell, because Allah, he made them in a certain nature. What is the nature they have? They have half a brain. They have a lack of wisdom and intellect and intelligence. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this before? So if this is true, which is not, because there's, you know, depend, women can be smarter than men and men can be smarter than women, depend, the individuals. But if this is true, who is the one who made the women suffer from lack of intellect. Who is the one who created the women? The Muslim, they will say Allah. Okay. So who is the one behind this defect? If it's exist? Allah. So how in the world, you stupid Muhammad, you say that the women, they have a lack of intellect and wisdom and that is going to be for them the reason to go to hell. And not only that, he said, because you are ungrateful. Remember, we're not talking about one woman. We are talking about all women. Only exception of them, few, they are not like that. So the majority are like that. But here you see the stupidity. Aisha and Hafsa, they complain about Muhammad. All the wives of Muhammad, they complain about Muhammad. So if the woman is ungrateful for her husband, well, that's mean. All women and Aisha is the best of them, according to Muhammad. If we go to hadith, we will find the following. Muhammad, he claimed that all women are as bad except three women. And this is Sahir Bukhari. Among the men, there's a lot of men, they reach perfection. This is the men situation. But from the women, there's only three. Now what this Abdul will say, this is not authentic. 
Well, this is Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. At Tirmidhi. Sahih. 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 So, according to Muhammad, there's only three women. They were perfect. But isn't it Aisha and Hafsa, the one who the Quran says, Sagat Aymanahum, which means they became kuffar? So, only three women, and here the funny Muhammad, by the way, Allah, he promised him he would sleep with those two women, which is the, uh, you know, the, the, the wife of the Pharaoh. I mean, imagine this guy, he's mentally ill. Why in the world Allah will make you marry the wife of the Pharaoh? And why Mary? He's sick. He's literally sick. He's a pervert. So this guy, he looked for all famous names in his time. The wife of the Pharaoh. And by the way, you ask the Muslims, there's a guy, his name is Adnan Rashid. He made a video amazing how Allah Prophet and how Allah in the Quran, how he announced that the, 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 the title of the Pharaoh, you idiot. Muhammad, he think his name is a Pharaoh, not his title. This is why it says the wife of Pharaoh. The wife of Pharaoh. And this is why the Quran says, Alu Pharaoh. Al is a word you put before a name. So if we go right now to the Quran, we will see if we type the word Al. I will type it in the front of you. Ali Pharaoh. You see it in yellow. Al. Ali Pharaoh. Then Ali Moses. Moses is a name of individual. So the word Al come before the individual name, not a title. Ali Pharaoh. Ali Pharaoh. Ali Ibrahim. Do you see how easy to confirm the stupidity of Muhammad? So he thought that Pharaoh is a name of a person. So now he is adding the word Al before the name because he is ignorant. And the Muslim, they told the truth. This guy is illiterate, but not necessarily about writing and reading. He is illiterate. He is just an you know, ignorant stupid. So going back to the Hadith, Muhammad, he claimed that only three women they are perfect, and the rest are garbage. And one of them is Aisha, who the Quran says that Aisha, she was a bad woman. Chapter 66, verse number 4. If you two wives of the Prophet of Allah, namely Aisha and Hafsa, turn into repentance to Allah, so how those are perfect? I mean, they are so bad to the point Allah, He made the verses about how bad they were. And not only that, Allah, He threatened them to be divorced. Do you see it? So do you see how we got Muhammad busted? How he say three women are the most, and they are perfect. They reach the point of perfection. So maybe Muhammad was talking about Aisha, she is perfect in sex. Because he is a child molester. Now going back, most of women, they will go to hell for a reason. YouTube is telling me my uh, my streaming and I don't have a good quality internet. No, I have. I don't know. 